you know, it's back to you, Ritu. There is uh, Mr. Kotak with you. Kona, Kona, Kotak. Oh, yes, Kona, Kona, Kotak indeed. And right here we have Mr. Uday Kotak. Mr. Kotak, thank you very much for your time here. Uh, you know, tell us how the last couple of weeks have been. It's been a busy time for you, a wedding in the family. You just stepped down. What's keeping you busy these days? I think, uh, uh, of course, the wedding just got over and we have recovered from it. And uh, I'm quite uh, sort of enthused by the way India is going. Well, speaking of India's growth, the second quarter numbers were quite the surprise yeah. at 7-6%. You know, but how do you read those numbers in a more nuanced way? Because a lot of it is led by government spending. What about the private players? It uh, looks like we are heading for 6.5% uh, GDP growth. Okay. And uh, I think time has come for private sector to start spending. Hmm. I think the... Uh, the animal spirits should come in sooner rather than later. You know, because this is a critical year, we're heading into, you know, a bunch of state elections have happened and we're heading into a general election year. To get those animal spirits back, what should be the policy priorities? Uh, I think the first and the good news is we have a very uh, stable macro economy. Uh, hopefully, inflation seems to be under control. And even if we hold interest rates here for a while, I think uh, people can... Uh, take a view that if oil doesn't be misbehave itself yeah. and things work out well in the rest of the world, yeah. if inflation comes under check, I think we should be in for better times. You know, speaking of rates, uh, the Reserve Bank of India's Monetary Policy Committee is meeting next week. What are your expectations? I think we'll hold, I think right now India is on hold for interest rates. So 6.5% uh, rate uh, is something which I think holds for a while. You know, with the Fed, you know, with the recent comments indicating that they're nearing the end or they have ended the rate hike, you think now there's space for RBI to act? I think every time Fed chair uh, talks, he gives caution that he's not in a hurry to reduce rates. And I think it's about posterity and legacy from the point of view of the Federal Reserve. He's always reminded about the choices between Arthur, Arthur Burns and uh, Paul Walker. Well, you know, speaking of legacy, Mr. Kotak, you've had one stellar one at Kotak Mahindra Bank. Uh, you know, tell us, uh, you know, as you look back on this career and we're here to honor you tonight, uh, what have been the biggest, the best memories? Uh, what have been, the, to your mind, the biggest achievements? Is it that ING merger or, you know, where, where do you see that? I think about the Kotak story as a startup story. It's a story about uh, uh, mirroring the India's financial sector reform and the growth of India. Kotak was at the right place at the right time and we just did the things as they unfolded and probably uh, we did not make stupid mistakes. Well, you've handed over now the reins to Mr. Vaswani. You call it a ghar vapasi of sorts of him taking over. What are your hopes and aspirations and expectations if, you know, the new first non-Kotak member taking over the reins as the CEO? No, I, I'm very uh, excited about uh, India's future, India's financial sector's future, and the Kotak future. I think the opportunity is huge. And when I look back at my 38 years, and I look at the next 20, 25 years, say up to India at 100, the, the future is looking awesome. And it gives me, makes me more excited than the period till now. So you think Mr. Vaswani's job is going to be very easy from here on? No, I think uh, you can never take a, this job easily because you're in the financial sector. It's a high leverage sector and you always got to be keeping an eye on the ball to use a cricketing terminology. But as long as you do that, as long as you play each ball on its merit, uh, the future for India economy is good. The financial sector is good. And we really need to work towards growing India at now 8 to 9 percent per annum. Well, thank you very much. Oh, we Hey, thank you for watching this on CNBC TV 18. Hope you liked it. For more such interesting news and updates, follow CNBC TV 18 on all the social media platforms.